Hi, Eric. My name is Josh. Thanks again for uh, coming out to speak with us. My question for you was, do you think, other than the fact that you found Jeff at Stanford, would you have been able to launch StubHub without going to Stanford Business School? And maybe a more general question is, obviously, we have to go get our undergraduate degree, then get some work experience. But how, is it, how important is it for us to go back and pursue an MBA, other than getting some piece of paper that gives us recognition and something that says, you know, we got our MBA? Yeah, no, I think, well, first of all, in terms of, I guess, the, the question, what's the value of an MBA, basically? Um, I would think the only thing you get from an MBA, really, is you get um, contacts. So it's valuable to sort of the people you meet. You know, I was able to go meet everyone on Sand Hill Road and sit down with Mike Moritz, because you're a student, you know, as you guys know. I would, I would encourage you, even as undergrads, you call someone up, you say you're a student, it's remarkable. The day you're not a student anymore, no one will talk to you. Um, so that, that's one thing. Um, the second thing you get is you get a credential, as you said. So that's worth something. That's not, you know, it's not that that's not crucial. It's not essential. It's helpful. It's not, but you know, you have a piece of paper, which once you've been at the school and a lot of these places, you realize is not really. Once you get in, anybody can get out. Um, and then the third thing uh, you get is quality of life. Um, so if you've been in, the, basically, you have a two-year vacation. You don't have to do any work in business school, and you play golf, and you can start a business or play golf, or I mean, really, I mean, it's not like I would. I presume if you go to medical school, they don't just graduate everyone because that would really scare me. But graduating everyone who goes to a business school, what's the worst that's going to happen? I mean, you know, did I learn anything in business school? Um, it was very. I had from practitioners. You know, there was a course I took where there was a partner from Kleiner Perkins, Irv Grossback, who started Continental Cable Vision. I think you learn a lot from listening to practitioners. Did I learn anything from what I would call their core curriculum, which is like go take basic economic theory from some guy who's never held a private sector job? I learned absolutely nothing, other than never to hire somebody who's never had a job and lives in <laughs> fantasy land. That, so I would, you know, so. I would say to the question of, I think part of your question is, well, could I just start a business out of college? And obviously, you know, that seems to have worked for Mark Zuckerberg and other people. Um, what I would say is I would think about your choices in terms of where can you build your skill set. So I sort of think about if you want to start a business, ultimately, you need co knowledge, contacts, and access to capital. So you need to actually have an idea and understand something. You need to know people to hire, to do things, and you need to get money. Um, so the, I saw the MBA as helping me along those paths. It would help expose me to things. It would help build my contact base. It would help me raise money. Um, I, 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 I would, though, as you can tell, wholeheartedly tell you that if you think you're going to learn some nugget in the classroom, I mean, you know, I, I'll give you the example they used to at Stanford. Not to, I'll, I'll keep the uh, the names out to protect the innocent. But they had some economic course that was like, I mean, so ridiculous has no, I mean, it literally, it's, it's asinine. But you know, you'd get people there, and they'd be like, well, this guy's, he, he might win a Nobel Prize in economics. I'm like, they might have someone who's going to win a Nobel Prize in physics, but I don't want to meet him either. It's not going to help me. So um, yeah, I, so that probably I'd be on the same page in terms of the academic learning with you, but maybe that gives you some sense of where you might get some benefit from an MBA. But it's by no means essential. <laughs>